Hello, this is Chuck Moore. I'm here with the gentleman from Film Seizure, and we're here to talk about their first 100 episodes and plans for the future. Yeah, this is uh, this is kind of awesome. Thank you, Chuck, yes, for having indeed. us. Thank you for having hey, us. No. Thank you for having us on our own show. To, and, and, and to inviting us into your, your interview studio. Yes, it's, it's very, wonderful. It's luxurious. Yes, it is luxurious. Yeah, I like the fake plants and the uh, backdrop. To... I'm loving this like massage I'm getting from, from Bruno. <laughs> I'm loving my personal series. <laughs> yeah. Thank you, Bruno, for showing up today. We appreciate it. Cato Kalen on gave a Saturday. me my on a yeah. Saturday. Good yeah, job, I Bruno. paid him time and a half to he make you guys comfortable. Yeah, both Bruno and Chuck go above and beyond to make us comfortable. Yeah. So, what are your names? I am Jeff Arbuckle. I am Jason Oliver. Awesome. So, a hundred episodes. Yeah, a hundred. I can't did, believe it. Did dude, I? Yeah, I don't know. That's what I was going to ask. Did either of you think? when you started this that you could ever get to 100 or would ever get to 100 or did you have that in mind i didn't have it in mind i just thought i didn't have it in mind either no i mean it was it was i mean it's always a nice thing to think that you could do a lot sure i think i always thought that i would just keep doing it as long as i was able and i thought it was still fun right i thought i would do it as long as jason still wanted to do it yeah that makes sense that's because 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 at any point this guy is out well, you, you were ready to replace him <laughs> after episode 70, were you not? What happened in episode 70? Oh, well, there was one where uh, it was uh, it was Savage Harbor. Oh, well, God, yeah. yeah. I don't know if that was episode 70. Yeah. I just kind of threw that uh, out. Well, I'm pretty sure at some point we were pretty sure he was done. Yeah. And it's like, Chuck, you're in. <laughs> oh, I've quit, I've quit multiple times. You don't see it happen, but I've left. I've just, I've gone, driven home. I've come back. It's we're, right, we, back. We, have, we are Actually, recording. Usually, I'm in those parts, I'm taking a poop or something yeah yeah that's really why bruno is here now is to make sure jason doesn't stand up from his seat to run out of here yeah Chuck's gonna ask a question i'm gonna be like nope nope (laughs) i'm out you're gonna play me back aren't you you're gonna play clips back and like adam driver i'm gonna walk the fuck out of here yeah (laughs) well that uh, that does lead me to a question i guess that follows that well do either of you ever listen to what you've done post it being put on the web no not really not no. really. No. No. I mean, I, I I listen a little bit when I'm when I'm putting it together, putting yeah. the episode together, just to make sure, because there's sometimes there are things where it's like, oh, we really need to cut out Jason's Nazi propaganda yeah. portion. Yeah. My, my alt right rant. Yeah. yeah. And it's like, ah, sorry, man. But it's not it's not an agenda I'm trying to push here, but I really do think we need to maybe cut that out. So I have to listen to the whole damn episode. <laughs> And it's like find it, find it, and then <laughs> then try to like doctor it back together. Um, yeah, no, no. I mean, really, that's the most I ever really listened to. Um, I've gone back a few times to episodes where I know I kind of need to remember. All right, we're going to be talking about um, an episode, maybe that's going to reference another episode, and I need to kind of refresh right. what, what the hell I talked about, what, what we talked about. Um, so, so yeah, I'll listen every now and then, but. But no, I don't really like listening to myself. Yeah, I don't. Either. I don't mind listening to myself, but all of that is news to me. Now I feel like I'm horribly unprepared. It's not every that episode. often, Jeff. Don't <laughs> okay. Feel too bad. Yeah. <laughs> I've listened. It's pretty rare. I've listened to most all of the episodes, but I have not gone back to any that I am on. So I'm similar to you, Jason. In that I don't. I don't want to hear myself. I'd rather get feedback from other people. Now but. here's the problem, though. I, I think about this, and I think about you know if I really want to get better at this there's two things I probably need to do. I need to do more research moving in, heading in, but sometimes these movies I haven't actually ever seen or haven't seen in a long time and I kind of want these these new fresh impressions right. right, to bring to the episode because we watch a movie and we record it right afterwards. There's only been a few cases like Jaws and um, Blade, Runner. Blade Runner and uh, Watchmen, I think, are the only episodes where we were watched on our own and then came into the episode usually we we watch the movie and we do the episode there was one uh we watched rocky and recorded a few days later correct but we did watch it together at least yeah we were at the theater we were Um, holding hands yeah i'm not i I had the popcorn bucket over my stuff (laughs) yeah (laughs) do you have a hole in the popcorn (laughs) ah shit i forgot the hole buttery joystick (laughs) (laughs) but but i but i do feel like if i were to really want to up my game I should probably listen to myself more and and kind of understand where I could do better, where I could bring more to the conversation, where I kind of get derailed. 
Um, Jeff and I do, though, for the most part, do I think do a good job of picking up when each other are kind of languishing for words. And the other one will step in and be like, okay, I got to start carrying it a little bit. Um, <laughs> You've done a lot better in the last 80 episodes. So there is, just to say, there is progression that I have heard when I listen to episodes. Thank you. I, well, I, I feel so, it. I yeah. feel it, too. I yeah. mean, we've done this a lot now. I would hope that just naturally we get better at it. Right. Yeah, but I do feel like I'm not an expert by any standard. We still cannot end an episode for shit. We really can't. We, I mean, that's, well, there goes one of my questions. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny. Like, Do people really stick around? If The few people that do listen, and let's be honest, it's a few it's people. It's a joke now. It's a joke now. So it's almost like if you do stick around and listen to us close an episode, it's to see or hear, I guess. How poorly we do it well it's right? to hear the black box yeah. as the plane is <laughs> crashing it's fun to be here when you guys really or if there's a little easter egg at the end of the episode i usually try to like put some something stupid oh as a yeah uh, there, there's sometimes i do like playing around with that but that's yeah. uh it's, those are fewer and far between my, my favorite between. thing if you haven't listened to the friday the 13th part eight it has one of my favorite beginnings ever where jason stumbles out of the gate and I'm like, well, we're using that for the cold open. He's like, wait, what? And I just smash cut to that that theme song. It's you know, it's like there's sometimes there's fun stuff like that that I like yeah. to do. Yeah. Well, that's a, this isn't feedback or anything, but I like the fact that you guys watch them and record, especially in stuff that you have not seen, because those fresh revel revelations in the middle of a podcast where one of you says something, the other one's like, oh my god, yeah, I love that. That's like the natural stuff. Is Thank great. you. Yeah. It, those those are the moments that feel the best. Yeah, to be quite I honest, imagine. when we kind of are when we're talking through a movie and we theorize about something and the other person hadn't really thought of it from that perspective. Yeah, right. And then we can sort of expound upon that and go further in the conversation. Yeah. Yeah, it happened quite a few times during Tour of Italy when Jeff would say something and you and I were like, oh. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. or vice versa. Well, you know, I, I am very worldly when it comes to Italian cinema. <laughs> yeah, I, well, I was going to give you a compliment, the fact that your mindset is definitely more suited to those, kind, navigating <laughs> sure those kinds of movies. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I have picked apart many uh, uh, an Italian movie. <laughs> nice. Yeah. <laughs> All right, picked so. over the carcass of the Italian <laughs> 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 I wonder what vulture is in Italian. That I believe it's pronounced B movie enema. All right. Fair, <laughs> fair, fair. <laughs> Self plug. Yeah, um, there you go. So how, I guess, how did you guys come up with this idea? What was the impetus of sitting around talking about movies for an hour? Uh, I'm going to have to defer to Jason on that because, um, you know, I was, uh, I'd mentioned B movie enema. I was kind of doing my own thing there. Yep. Um, we had had in the past, even before then, bad movie nights and stuff like that. And um, but I was just kind of just kind of merrily going along my way. And uh, so, Jason, I, I got to leave that one to you. What? Sure. Yeah. So um, I've been kind of looking for something to do as a creative outlet with um, with movies for a while now. Um, I never really quite found the thing that I thought would help me sort of exercise, I guess, a little bit of, of what I have in my brain mm -hmm. out. Um, writing is, is harder for me than Jeff. Jeff can, um, is very prolific, right? He can get a lot on, a, a lot out on page and that for Jeff creatively is, is really rewarding for him being able to get that out. I, I felt like I needed something similar to that, but writing just wasn't it. Right. Um, so I kind of posited the idea of, um, kind of is still an idea that I have on the back burner that we didn't quite do, but was was sort of my original idea for film seizure, was to do a um, a marathon of movies, right? Like on an entire day, watch every movie in a franchise, and um, and kind of do an audio commentary for the whole sitting. Right. That right? sounds like something we could do. Right. And yeah. it's still something that I would like to do. Right. Yeah. And we've talked a little bit about it. Yeah. Uh, and it's an idea I have for it, but. That was sort of my original idea, and that's kind of where we, we test ran a little bit, in some ways, the first three Friday the 13th. Yeah. Uh, I, you know, when we talked about that, it's like, you know, let's do something safe, something we've seen, something we know, uh, something that will at least elicit some sort of emotion from us. Um, let's do that. Because uh, there was the other thought was the Warlock movies, and it's like, right. mm, let's, let's test our format first. Right. Uh, but it was really, I mean... In some ways, I kind of feel like I, I didn't ever want it to come off like 
I felt that the format was not as easy to work with. Yeah. But I think we both knew after that first, because it's like, wow, we just recorded for three hours. Ain't nobody listening to right. a three hour podcast. Right. Um, I wouldn't listen to a three hour pa- podcast, even if it was my most favorite people in the world, all right. talking about my most favorite things in the world. Uh, it's hard. It, it's a hard thing to do. So it's like, uh, we, we really kind of have to do this, uh, you know, movie by movie, but, mm-hmm. but at the same time, it's like, that doesn't, uh, that doesn't exclude the idea of having themes. Um, we could, I mean, we could discuss in great detail how sometimes themes don't always do very well until much later. I've discovered. Yes. But <laughs> um, at other times, though, sometimes you're surprised that you know, like one of the movies within that theme is like one of the most popular episodes, or something. Like, mm-hmm. uh, I think one of our most popular episodes, I think, is. Uh, either the first or third poison ivy movie <laughs> this doesn't surprise me that it's a sexy september joint Interesting. <laughs> but also we, we you know uh the um one of the uh, uh nights of terror the um mm-hmm. the uh the burial ground burial ground yep was is also one of our most popular and it's like that's because i was on that episode uh, well i'm i'm thinking that yeah (laughs) (laughs) uh no i mean it's just it's it's one of those things that it's like we can still have those themes we do have to be uh judicious with that It, it part of it too was um i really just wanted to watch movies with my buddies and talk about them right right i wanted a reason a good excuse to do that and put something out there somewhat creatively to show as like a fruit of that of that right Right. this can be something we can do something for fun that is also creative and that people might also enjoy right as it turned out all of his other friends were busy so (laughs) i I got the job and i'm like all right cool (laughs) let's do this well just to say some not not to interrupt you i'm sorry go ahead some of the my favorite part even though recording is fun i've had the opportunity to do a few of these now the watching is the best part yeah it's fun the joking and half of that if half of that magic can get into the show you have a pretty successful episode and i think often you can tell it's interesting that you you mentioned that because we did when we first started the concept we were recording ourselves watching the movie right and um and that in some ways was was funny there's a lot of things we said that were funny but there was just a lot, of, a lot of dead air. Right. A lot of stuff that just wasn't funny. A lot of stuff that just wasn't inappropriate, honestly. Right. You say something off the cuff, and you're like, ah, I probably shouldn't. I got to filter that out uh, later. Maybe yeah. I should scrub our... Well, I mean, our, that, uh, some of our early episodes, I mean, we never go out to to punch down on anyone or to or to be inappropriate. Sometimes we're just, we're just a little bit black in our humor, and that comes out just from, from how... Jeff, come on. No, I, it's just the way you said that. I didn't expect for it to be said that way. <laughs> <laughs> see, see, that's what I'm talking about. Yeah. Yeah. It's that's like, what wait a minute, what? About. It's like, all right, cool. Uh, no, no, I know exactly what you're saying. Um, no, I mean, it's just, it's... Uh, but I don't ever want our podcast to be defined by that. N- no, because no. Because that's not really it, who we are. And we really are coming at all, all of these movies with, with a lot of love and, and enjoyment. Well, and also, you, you got you to gotta also understand, this is our hobby. And, and right. for us to go through and pick through, we watch the movie, then we go back through and listen to what we said during the It's like, uh, can we just release it? Yeah. Right, <laughs> can we just right. put it out there? Yeah. Um, yeah. But that is, that's also to say that at some point in time, I think it would be fun to do like legitimate, real commentary. Yes. Um, whether it's just a lot of either dropping information or just talking about what that movie means to us like pop-up video yeah yeah Sorry if yeah that's, i mean yeah, yeah. Uh, basically i mean i i have a lot of useless film knowledge in my head and what's interesting is that this doing this show has has exposed really how much i don't know um and it, it susan jokes all the time that you know i've got all of this stored in my brain and i can put all, put all these random movie facts out of my ass but really i mean i know 10 percent of what i'd like to know I'm right. constantly discovering new stuff, and that's what this podcast has really done for me in the last what 18 months we've been doing this. Mm, something like that. Maybe. Well, it was November 2017, so over two years. Yeah, we do have over two years. 
um, it has really kind of rekindled my discovery, my, my right. craving to discover new things. So it's why I like talking about the stuff that I love and I've loved for years, but I also really like talking about the stuff I've just recently discovered right. that I want to share with others. Right. Yeah. And I just like making Jason watch Xanadu. Yeah. Yeah. I, yeah. I figured. <laughs> so I can say with uh, when we did the 100th episode, Joe was here. Um, I talked to him after the movie. And I don't know if he shared this with either of you guys, but he was blown away by your film knowledge just in general. Um, so your 10% is like my 0.01. So you still have like a huge wealth of knowledge between the two of you. I try There's a lot I don't know. I often try to play up the dumb aspect, <laughs> but... It is a lot more fun to play up that aspect. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I let Jason be the smart one all the time. <laughs> But Jeff, Jeff has a better recall for stuff. Right. Um, I usually have to refresh myself. Jeff, Jeff has a lot of recall of stuff instantaneously. And whenever we get and hit a subject that Jeff just knows cold, it's impressive. Right. Oh, we could have done that whole Star Trek without, yeah. without seeing the movie, without doing it. I it, mean, uh, it, uh, like, to, to be honest with you, you should make me not watch Star Trek 2 when Jeff, we get to that Jeff later. Knows, Jeff knows what the things that Jeff really knows. He knows better than the things I really know. Um, it's just a fact. Maybe, uh, other than maybe Nightbreed. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, Nightbreed. Yeah, nobody knows Nightbreed anything better. Nobody knows anything better than you know Nightbreed. <laughs> I, that still wouldn't even be true because there's, there's the, always those people in the groups that are just like, man, where do you pull this shit out? Like, how right. do you know that? How do you oh, the Vinegar that? Syndrome group? Right. <laughs> those, that would be one of those types yep. of groups. Yeah. 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 So... Do either of you, and this might be hard to pick, but do either of you have a favorite episode that you've done? I anticipated you were going to ask this question. <laughs> <laughs> and I started to think about that in advance. Um, I have a few that I can mention, but Jeff, do, do any come to mind for you? Um, yeah, I would say um, probably the f first one where I really thought, well, we got something here, is, uh, is probably Raw Force. Yep. Absolutely. Uh, hamburger was pretty was yep, pretty good. That's on my list too. Um, <laughs> the, the Captain America. Oh yeah. Oh, you're picking Captain America. The one where I was drunk. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The, um, we said some things in there that probably we shouldn't have. Probably. Um, but you know, as history plays out, it'll be fine. <laughs> yeah. Um, the, you, you you that episode was hilarious because. That was one of those episodes where Jeff sort of had to drive because he knows the history of Captain America better <laughs> than anyone I know. gave the drunk guy the keys. Yeah. Yeah, but, but he was wasted. <laughs> <laughs> so that was fun. Yeah. Um, then uh, Head was Head a really was good episode. Head was a really good episode, yeah. Um, and then I'm going to uh, – well, one of the more fun experiences was trying to talk about the fourth Poison Ivy movie. Oh, because we were yeah. brain dead yeah. at that point. Uh, but I, but in all seriousness, I'd probably say um, uh, I, I quite like the the Star Trek, yeah, motion picture one. I liked um, I liked all of those. All of those were good. I also add Videodrome. I thought oh, that's a good one. I yeah. thought we really cracked that in a way that I hadn't necessarily heard before, without um, having to make fun of uh, James Woods' politics. Yes, yes, we did. We s somehow navigated that. Yeah, I don't know how we did that, but we did. We did. Um, that though, I was, I was, I was a little stoned for that episode on on legal recreational marijuana behind the curtain here. Guys. Yeah, and uh, and I've I've actually that's one of the few episodes I've gone back and re and listened to. Um, and uh, I could have, I, I think I could have brought more to that episode, but I think what we did discuss was really cool. Um. So I'm proud of the episode in some respects, but I don't. I'm not so proud of my my contribution to that episode because I was too stoned. <laughs> it's kind of funny. Yeah. So there you go, behind the curtain. Yep. Uh, you get, so your else, favorite episodes are one of you being both of you were inebriated. Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. But well, so, draw there's from been some that. good ones. Draw there's, from that. But Nightbreed, I really liked right, as well. Nightbreed. Right. Nightbreed was a movie that. God, I mean, I know so much about that movie and the prep I did for that movie. I've never prepped for an episode like I prepped. Oh for that. yeah, I well that was the that was the beginning of whoa. We need uh, I need to better prep. That was well. Yeah. I mean, 
yeah, I just I just really love that movie, and I watched all three versions of that movie in a day, took notes on every version. I came with the history of each version. I, I really felt like I brought a lot of detail to that episode. There are people who will listen to that episode who are night breed. I didn't even mess and mention that they're night breed freaks like me who I'm not going to bring anything new for them. Right. But, but um, I think it was Dave Lichty who said, you know, don't worry about that. Don't worry about the people who know more than you. Worry about the people who know. Don't worry about them. But you're doing the show for the people who who don't know what you right. know or right. they just like you or they just like you yeah. right and and you're 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 bringing them something valuable regardless of of how in depth you go right so that was really good feedback from from Dave um i would say also um it, it, when you talk about the the versions of movies that you well, i did the same thing for star trek yeah yeah you did yeah and that's uh that's a lot of a slow moving sci-fi movie to watch mm-hmm over and over and over right but it's fun you know i mean you're passionate about what you're passionate about and i think sometimes the movies that we think are going to be better episodes don't turn out to be as good as we hope they would be yeah and we end up finding surprising movies in there like i think exotica is a good example of that yeah so that leads me to a question that you may not have an answer to are there any of the podcast episodes that you regret choosing the movie and it's okay if the answer is no, but I'm curious if you got through one. Can't have you ever trashed one? That you're like, oh, no, we're, we're we've not never trashed this up. one. No, we've never trashed one. Although there are movies we probably could have. Yeah. Uh, you know, we could have trashed Jade. We could have yeah. trashed um, Poison Night before. Yeah. We could have trashed um, Night Killer. God, yeah. I uh, I'm yeah, surprised. Yeah, that's made you the most money, right? Or is that Night Ripper? No, I'm, no that's, that's Cobra. Cobra. That's Sorry, Cobra. That's Cobra. I got um, that Cobra's a fun episode. Night Killer was terrible. Yeah. I saw that one. Yeah, that you were in on that. You were yeah, in yeah, on that. Yeah. That was terrible. That was not a great one. <laughs> um, I don't know if the episode was terrible, but the movie was not good. No, it really wasn't. Um, no, I mean, I don't know. But at the same time, though, we need, we need to be prepared for that. Because if we're going to put in the time to watch a movie, we don't really have time because this is a weekly show yeah to throw one away yeah Yeah, most amazing thing to me you guys get one out every week it's crazy prolific i often say when i'm on but i don't want to focus too much on the negative i'm sorry bark bonanza midnight meat train oh that was bad that That was was absolute disaster yeah we could have probably picked something out i would have rather have done the candy man sequel that he had a lot less to do we could have picked something better from barker than that um but the yeah i mean and i know that you would have probably liked for me not to have chosen things like Yellow Submarine or Xanadu. Uh, yeah. But to, to some degree, it's fine because, I mean, Xanadu and both those movies are movies I had not seen before. They have potential to wow me. Head blew me fucking away. Yeah. Right? Yeah, head blew me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, so, we're not cutting that one out. So we're I'm leaving will, that one I'm, 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 I'm willing to, to try new things. And Xanadu wasn't terrible. I mean, I kind of played the contrarian in that episode a little bit. You just wanted to um, take the, you just wanted to take the piss out of me on that because I, mean, I love you, that movie. You played the contrarian on Streets of Fire. No, I really didn't like that. I know movie. you know. You didn't <laughs> like it. I still, I still, I still, I while I recognize that the that movie's not good, I still really like that movie. Yeah. Yeah. Well. <laughs> All right. So, you had a Force Fest screening. I can't. Was it called Force? Fest? It was called Force. Fest. It was Force, Force Fest. Fest. Yeah. Force yeah. Fest. We did. Um, any plans for that this year? Are you going to have another? Any any kind of events? We've been that talking you have about planned? an expansion. Um, we haven't talked much about it, but Jeff was uh, lo- lobbed in the idea of a spring festival of some sort, and then bringing Force back, Force Fest back in the fall. Yeah. Yeah, we've got Force February coming up uh, on the show. So, you know, hopefully two or three of those will be worthy to uh, to do. I, I'm always open to the idea of the Force adjacent. Force adjacent to watch more movies. Force adjacent. <laughs> um, like, you know, like things like um, um, movies that have other power. Uh, Power or yeah. uh, invasion or um, you know a uh, 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 low blow, <laughs> 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 yeah, um, things like that that I you know that that are kind of force movie adjacent. Yeah, 
um, that that you know I don't know, but the, but well, the Force Fest may turn into something like that, right? Um, I mean, I think ultimately we could call it something like Force Fest, for, Film Seizure Festival, or something like that, right? But but yeah, I'd like to see it grow. I don't like that name. I, well, whatever. I'm just spitballing here, Jeff. <laughs> That's what it is now. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Do Ken and I get a vote? No. All right. Apparently, I don't either. <laughs> but without like, without like, we're we're trying our best right now to sort of network some options to expand opportunity for right. the podcast. And I don't want to get into any of that because it's all very much in its infancy. Um, it may never happen, but but it's something we're looking at is a way that we can do a community event that yeah we could showcase little movies that we love in the community awesome yeah i think that'd be great too all right so we conclude our interview with oh. a questionnaire that was used by bernard pivot in france and james lipton oh, in the oh. this is awesome all right so most of these are one word answers if okay. you want to go on go ahead um i'll start with you jeff what is your favorite word I should have started with Jason. It could start with me. It's yeah. plethora. Plethora. <laughs> Jeff has a plethora of answers. He is thinking. <laughs> yeah. Uh, um, you could be skipped too if you'd prefer that. I, you know what? Okay. Just because I do a lot of writing, and just because of of the nature of what I do, of what I write, a word that I like to use. Uh, a lot is um, meanwhile. Okay. Meanwhile, that that's a, there's a there's a that's a nice neutral word that sounds kind of pleasant to me. Yeah. Meanwhile, it's it's it's, it's also sort of rooted in comic culture. Mm hmm. Yeah. yeah. It's a panel opener. Or yeah. A page opener in a comic. Meanwhile in Gotham. Yes. yes. Meanwhile, at Jeff's house. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, at Chuck's uh, luxurious. Yes. Thank you. Bruno. Interview. You can move on to Jeff now. I'm gonna. Ooh. <laughs> ooh, now you get the massage. Ooh. I'm gonna start with you, Jason, to give Jeff a little more time. <laughs> um, <laughs> Jeff thinks slow. What is your least favorite word? Oh my goodness. Um, the one that popped into my head is not th the real answer moist because everybody said right moist. i was gonna say thick or moist yeah, or something like that something yeah. kind of grotesque um but that's a good word i like grotesque <laughs> um and then there's always the the sort of cop-out answer of hate, hate you know or something like that but <laughs> i know I'm that's why it's a cop-out i know I'm the eye roll. Eyes yeah james lipton right now i um, can't see it but but uh, i don't know i've never really thought about a word that i don't like you have one jeff yep maybe it's ostensibly <laughs> i don't even know what that means ostensibly well I, it's, it's, it's a hard word for me to wrap my brain around right. when i see it written i know what it means but i don't always understand it in context, context yeah yep agreed go ahead jeff problematic okay ah, okay fair yeah that's it um move on <laughs> i don't like that one what jason oh what? i also don't like um Synergy. Synergy? Yeah. Well, yeah, we could go with business all the, yeah, all the corporate right buzzwords. Yeah. There's a lot of those I really don't like. Thought leadership. Ugh. 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 <laughs> well, I know what I would answer this as now, but what turns you off? Turns me off? Could be in the context of film or in life or whatever. Close mindedness. Okay. Um or just yeah, just close mindedness. Like not being willing to hear another perspective. And I'm guilty of this sometimes too. And I don't like it in myself. And that's maybe Jeff's giving me a little little eye roll over there. Not an eye roll. That's a, that's a that's a smirk. <laughs> but, but yeah, it turns me off. No, that's. Um, for me, it's um, uh, jumping to an extrapolation. Uh, that's a, a major, major, major part of doing anything on the internet is seeing people extrapolate extrapolate the wrong meaning out of something yeah right um and it, it it ultimately is just it serves to shun people forever if 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 the if the person doing it had their druthers 
Got you. All right, so we'll uh, we have a couple more here. We'll go with what is your Jeff? I'll go with you first because you'll blurt it out. <laughs> what is your favorite curse word? Cocksucker. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's a motherfucker. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and if you're really good, somebody can then you know, create a rhyme with those. Things. <laughs> yeah, they could. Um, all right. So this is a bit tongue in cheek, but it's on Pivo's questionnaire. So I'm going to ask it anyway. Jason, if heaven exists, what would you like to hear God say when you arrive at the pearly gates? You did just enough. <laughs> <laughs> it's hard to beat that oh my turn yeah you gotta go too i can't believe you ate the whole thing <laughs> i can't believe i ate the whole thing that's awesome well lastly i'd like to wish you guys 100 more 200 more 300 more as long as you're having fun yeah it's it's been a fun ride it's been fun to be involved with i hope this was fruitful for you guys um it's always nice to, to look critically upon yourself yeah this is nice it's, it's a chance for some self-reflection and that's that was fun thank let's, you for, let's, for having this idea let's do it again know. next week all right let's let's create a counseling <laughs> session so no. where can jeff yes where can everyone find this interview hey that's going to be on filmseizure.com and the various places where fine podcasts are found yes awesome all right. Well, thank you guys again. <laughs> thank you, Charles. And we Ooh, Charles. Yeah, Charles. I gave him his proper name. Yes, I'm an official interviewer. Now. Oh, yes. okay. And, and, and thank you to the new school for having us. Yes, yes. 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 Give, give your all, give yourselves a clap, <laughs> yeah, clap of applause. Yes. And thank you, Bruno, for keeping things. Nice oh, yes. Thank you here. for working that knot out, Bruno. <laughs> I don't know exactly why you had to give me a reach around, but thanks. <laughs> you know exactly. Well, why. he does. He does how he's trained. Yeah. <laughs> Happy ending. All right. So, uh, who? Yeah. How do we? Yeah. Close okay. This? So who normally, you? yeah. My name is Jeff Arbuckle. And my name is Jason Oliver, and usually I would say you have been listening to Film Seizure, but yeah. instead I'm going to say you've been listening to Film Seizure episode interview thing. Perfect. Nailed it. <laughs> Good job. Good job. <laughs>